Each one, teach one. Listen. If I grabbed a hundred homeowners in this city and I said, what happens to you when you don't pay your first mortgage? You know what every one of them will tell me? Uh, I think it'll go through foreclosure. Whether they know it or not, investors or not, they will know that eventually the home gets taken away. If I said to the same 100 homeowners, what happens if you don't pay your second mortgage? Most of them will go, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem as important. So if there was a financial hiccup, if there was a sickness, if there was a divorce, if something caused this and they have two mortgages, which one are they likely to just stop paying? The second mortgage. Because human behavior is, it's not as important. It's smaller and just can't be as important. So I'm going to, if I can, pay the big one and I'll just save some money and quit paying the little one. That's what people do. So not only is it most common to have two loans, of the two loans, it's more common that just the second mortgage is in foreclosure and the first is still current, which is a good scenario for us. We prefer the first current because it's less money we have to come up with or more money we make when we sell it. So very, very common scenario. And the other reason I really like second mortgage is they're more likely to come out for really low numbers after foreclosure bid because they're in trouble either way, right? They're, they're not going to get much either way. They know they're in a much weaker position. So it just gives us ammunition to buy things all along the way. Yeah. Lesson learned.